Did you know Samsung Pass can do more than just store credit cards? In this video, we'll explore lesser known features like store and memberships and passes, the built-in password manager, and private notes. No extra apps required. So let's start with the Samsung Wallet app. I recommend placing it in a readily accessible location to boost your productivity, like how I did here on the home screen. Opening the app takes us to the Perks homepage where we can see offers such as cashback, gift cards, and promotions. Now you're going to see that we have this navigation bar at the bottom of the page and we want to focus on Samsung Pass so we're going to look for that all option and tap on it. So we're now on the Samsung wallet page where everything is neatly organized and color coded for an attractive user friendly layout. I really like this. The main features you'll likely use here will be payment cards for your transactions and Samsung Pass as your secure password vault. There are also plenty of other storage options I haven't explored yet but could prove useful. You can store items like memberships, gift cards, digital keys, and even event tickets. If we scroll down further, you'll see the finance category featuring options to send money or add funds to Samsung money which offers an annual percentage yield of 4.25% at the time this video was made. That could be an attractive savings option for viewers looking to grow their funds. Just beneath this, you'll find the perks category, which features cashback opportunities, a built-in gift card store, and exclusive promotions, perfect for maximizing the value of your everyday spending. Lastly, you'll find the How to Use tab offering quick tips for navigating the app, including efficient features like quick access, which I personally rely on all the time and highly recommend at checkout counters for improved efficiency. There's also going to be an option for privacy controls, which provides information regarding privacy. All of this is like having your essentials in one digital wallet. No clutter, just convenience. So, now that we've explored the Samsung wallet layout, let's zero in on one of its most underrated tools, storing payment cards, sign-in info, and private data like addresses and secure notes. So, we'll locate the Samsung Pass option right here, and we'll tap on it. Once again, the page refreshes with a clean layout featuring two main sections. We're going to have sign-in info, and then we're going to have private info. And small side note, above these two options will be what I call a navigation bar or panel. Now again, we're in the Samsung Pass portion of that navigation panel, but there is an option for payment cards that you could tap on. That's where you would store your payment cards. So you can easily add your credit card here, just like I've done, to enable quick access for a faster, more seamless checkout experience. Now before we dive into private info, let's briefly touch on the sign-in info section. Now quick note, the screen recorder may pause on certain topics here due to device security. And I think that demonstrates how Samsung does a really good job here. But I'm still going to include my device recording here for demonstration purposes. I also think it's important to highlight how all of this is protected. So when we go into sign in information, we need to verify our identity with our fingerprint. So beyond adding your sign in info for faster logins, Samsung Pass also lets you check your password safety of your stored passwords. As you can see here, the app is flagging two passwords as easy to guess and identifying four as duplicates. Now I could update these to improve my security. So this built-in feature is a simple yet powerful way to strengthen your digital security, especially in an era of advancing artificial intelligence and the looming potential of quantum computing breakthroughs. That being said, this built-in password manager is included with Samsung devices, meaning you don't have to pay for a third-party app to securely store and autofill your login credentials. It's efficient and tied to your biometrics for easy access. However, if you regularly work across non-Samsung devices, this could pose a challenge since Samsung's password manager isn't easily accessible outside of their ecosystem. Now, a reliable workaround for this is the password manager built into Google's Chrome browser for PC and Android. That works very well. It's going to sync across devices and platforms, making it a convenient option if you often switch between Samsung and non-Samsung products. So we're going to back out of here multiple times by tapping the back arrow in the top left hand corner. 
So below the sign in info card, we're going to have the private info card. Now this gives you access to stored cards, addresses, and notes. Once again, Samsung Pass is a biometrics based vault that securely stores all these items, bringing your essential data together in one convenient place securely. So that being said, when you access either of these items for the first time going into the app or if you leave the app and then come back in, you will be prompted to scan your fingerprint. And I think this is cool because it creates a futuristic experience. So here we are in the private information page. And again, we're going to have a navigation bar at the top. We're going to have notes, we're going to have addresses, and we're going to have cards. Now we're going to focus on the notes for now, so I'll tap on that option. And you can see I already have a note added here, but if we want to add another note, we could tap the plus icon in the top right hand corner, and that's going to open up a new note. And we're just going to give this a title. So I'm going to go with test two, and then we'll just type it's working. And then we'll make sure that we save our note. And this demonstrates that Samsung Pass is also a place to securely store notes. So what are some use cases for notes? Well, these can include jotting down affirmations, private info like account numbers, important dates, and even journal style reflections. However, there's no need to store sensitive passwords here as the sign in info section we covered earlier handles these securely and more effectively. And I just want to mention, just like your other private data, these notes are securely synced across your Samsung devices, making access quick, easy, and dependable wherever you go. And as with all private information, we can delete notes. We can do this by pressing and holding on a note and then selecting additional notes to highlight them. And then we'll have this garbage can at the bottom. We can tap delete all. And then we'll just confirm the deletion. Now I do want to touch briefly on addresses. You can add addresses in here. It's going to look pretty basic here. You can include name, details, the street address, city, state, postal code, country, region, phone, email. It essentially looks like what you would have in your contacts. But again, this is more private. And then if we back out of here, we're going to have cards. Now, I'm not sure what you would do with cards here necessarily because, again, we have that other section where we can add cards. So if we back out of here, again, we have that option in this navigation bar. We have payment cards. We can add cards there. But again, not only can we add cards there, we can also add cards on this main page of Samsung Wallet in this area here. So again, I'm not really sure what that card section is in that page over on the Samsung Pass side. And that wraps up our walkthrough of Samsung Wallet and Samsung Pass, from managing your passwords and cards to securely creating private notes. These hidden features are designed to simplify your digital life while keeping it secure. If this video helped you unlock new value from your device, give it a thumbs up and don't forget to subscribe for more tech tips and productivity hacks. Until next time, thanks for watching and may the universe flow in your favor. And until next time, Leon check in out.